My name is Travis Williams, and I'm Riverkeeper and Executive Director for an organization called Willamette Riverkeeper. Willamette Riverkeeper works to protect and restore the Willamette River's water quality and habitat. As such, we are heavily involved in the cleanup of Portland Harbor, given the widespread contamination in a multi-mile stretch of river. So we're going to take a little Willamette trip here. How big is the Superfund site? Well, if this is the Willamette River and that X is the downtown Portland area, we get to River Mile 11 where the Fremont Bridge is and we continue downstream into the harbor proper, all along the industrial stretch of the Willamette. Then we finally get down to Sylvie Island and then two miles later, the confluence of the Columbia. So depending on how you look at it, this stretch of river encompasses a Superfund site that is at least nine miles long from where the contaminants start downstream near the Columbia all the way up to the Fremont Bridge. Superfund is a federal law implemented by the US EPA that's triggered when there are highly polluted sites that need to be cleaned up. The Willamette River was designated a federal Superfund site in December of 2000. It is because of multiple pollutants that the Willamette is designated a federal Superfund site. The pollutants in this area include PCBs, heavy metals, oil-based products, and even the breakdown products of DDT once manufactured here. The reason this matters is that this contamination can find its way into wildlife and people. It's found on the very river bottom, in the fine sediments in the Willamette River. The Willamette River in this area should be cleaned up simply to protect fish and wildlife. But that's not the only story here. One of the main stories is the risk to people's health by consuming contaminated fish from this area. For several years, signs have been posted by the Department of Human Services. The decisions we make in regard to cleaning up the Willamette River in this area will have long-term impacts on protecting human health. The first part of the Superfund cleanup is called the Remedial Investigation, or RI, a thorough investigative process to document pollution. The feasibility study follows the RI and lays out the various cleanup options for Portland Harbor. The US EPA is now considering those options as it develops the final cleanup plan. So the remedial investigation has been drafted and the feasibility study has been drafted. The US EPA is considering this information and will then draft the proposed cleanup plan. Public comment will be accepted at that time and officially considered. That will lead to the final record of decision. The notion of the public trust is very important. The public trust holds that we, the people, own the Willamette River. The Willamette is not the private domain of industry or anyone else. It's a river that should be held for everyone in a state that's healthy for fish and wildlife and safe for people to use and to consume the fish from the river. It's a basic public trust right. You can make your voice heard in relation to the cleanup of Portland Harbor. You can send comments at any time to the US EPA, the Oregon Department of Environmental Quality, the City of Portland, and the Port of Portland. These public entities have to listen to what the public says about the cleanup of the Willamette River. Whether you care about removing toxic contaminants from the Willamette, or you simply want it to be safe for people to use for fishing and recreating, you can make your voice heard. You can make your voice heard. The draft proposed plan will be released prior to the record of decision. There'll be an official comment period for the public when the proposed plan is released. Feel free also to contact the EPA ahead of time to express how you feel the Willamette should be cleaned up. There are a variety of resources on the internet to stay informed and to learn about Portland Harbor. The US EPA's Region 10 website is very helpful and the Community Advisory Group, a multi-stakeholder group that meets monthly, has a very informative website as well.
You can also join up on Willamette Riverkeeper's listserv, which will have periodic updates about what's happening in relation to Portland Harbor, as well as information about educational talks and tours.